just turned to my two poor reports, which has given me five gratitude, which I'm going to spend on affecting the balance of power in the reach. I've done this once before. I forgot exactly what it did. Ah, I've gained reputation with the Tacketies. I am now admired. Nice. Now I'm disliked by the Windward Company. Sounds like we're getting to the point where I might actually be identified as a member of the Tacketies. Maybe the Dreadnoughts will start attacking me, just like they attacked the other Tacketies. I think that's the same thing we read before, right? Yep, when London comes, it'll take a nation to stand against her. Back in New Winchester, let's put up a flyer for the strong woman. You post your flyers on top of posters for productions of Odin's Horse and the revival of The Painted Youths of Somerset, a merry farce. Whether the public will take notice is anybody's guess, but you've done your job. Also, looks like there's some recent news. Skullduggery at Port Avon. The pages of the Gazette are awash with scandal. The Port Avon Parish Council complains of noises from the local ruins at night. The prudent secretary is eager for any confirmation of tackety activity in the ruins. The inter... <laughs> Sorry, one of my cats is like playing with the microphone cord. I'm sure you can hear that. The prudent secretary is eager for any confirmation of tackety activity in the ruins. The indirect inder veteran would also like someone to look into the matter, though not too hard, mind. Well, I'd be perfect for this job. I'm definitely not going to do anything to hurt the tackities. I'm not going to rat them out, so I'm curious what they're doing, and I'm, I'd like to help them. Investigate it. Is that a formal quest, I guess? Winchester War, digging at Port Avon. Ooh, am I going to start to be part of the war? The Gazette has little of concrete use. Rumors of this or that criminal spied in the ruins. A particularly lurid theory about sacrificing company officials to unmentionable powers. If you want to find out what's really going on, you'll have to go to Port Avon. Well, I mean, it's pretty close to New Winchester. Maybe I should just go right now. Ah, have another homestead next to Port Avon. There's a lot of those around here. This one's cold and silent. Let's search it. Success. Two crates of nostalgic crockery. An unwanted wedding gift. The house has been stripped of its valuables except for a dresser containing an apparently complete collection of blue glazed crockery. It's decorated with saccharine scenes of old London. Shame to see it wasted. Cool. Is what what is that exactly? Like is that a general trade good that some places may want at some point? Fine London China, porcelain plates bearing the Empress's face, cups and saucers traced with roses. Alright, Port Avon now. Uh, let's get my welcome up now that I have the salon suit gossip. My welcome is now three, okay. That's all I can do as far as that. Oh, and I keep forgetting the freaking repentant devil. I just, like, pass over it every single time. Let's just get him. I want to get everybody just so I can do their story stuff, because they're not very expensive. You're just a hundred, right? Yeah. Uh, a signaler, which I don't think I have. Oh, I do. Fatalistic signalman. I am only missing a quartermaster. Increase your iron by two, your veils by six, and your affiliation academia by one. He has very little luggage. A single satchel of books and a folded greatcoat appear to be his only personal effects. His manner is calm, almost pedantic, as he negotiates his duties and his pay. But you have a sense that he urgently wants to be out of Port Avon. So actually, what are your stats compared to the Fatalistic Signalman? Oh, the signalman's perfect for me. Mirrors and veils. Yep. But I do want to speak with them, of course. Ask him about the state of your soul. You unlocked this with soul flaws too. You needed between one and four. <laughs> hmm. 
Show him your chorister bee. I need a caged chorister bee. Ask him about his memories of... Caduceus? Hmm. He looks younger than most devils, but he is significantly older. His gaze is blank and yellow, a wall against speculation. He grooms his sideburns artfully and knows how to be tactful with less seasoned members of the crew. Let's just talk with him. 100% chance of success. He sits with his back to the door and answers your questions with more questions. It's more than ordinary caginess. He does not trust you. Which is strange, considering how hard he wrangled to be aboard this engine in the first place. Once he asks, rather abruptly, how long your crew have been with you, and whether you took on anyone new at the last port, you cannot tell whether he likes your answers. Perhaps in time he will come to trust you more. Okay, so maybe it's similar to the Incognito Princess. Maybe we just have to wait. I can still ask him about the state of my soul, though. He smiles blandly. It is not worth much in its present condition, he says plainly. Too flawed. I could cure you of all that, if I had time, and if I cared, and if it were not just as easy to take any of a dozen other innocent souls in a better state of repair. If you want it improved, you might, I suppose, try your luck at Kirillin. Brutal. Just tore me down, damn. Okay, so what's going on here with the Tackities? They're in the ruins. Oh, uh, anything at the shops? Bargains, nothing. Okay. Uh, this is the same description. Yeah, so what can we do here? Investigate the rumors of Tackities in the ruins. Tackity men have been seen entering the ruins in the dead of night, armed with shovels and lanterns. Well, I can guess what they're doing. Mining, just like I've done in the past. You wait until the sky is dark and the distant stars have dimmed before making your way to the ruins. You go alone, bearing only a shuttered lantern. Dust rises underfoot as you tread along shadowed halls, greater and gloomier than the manners of old London. Through gaps between stones, narrower than the inside of a coffin, voices grow near, voices and a rich, resplendent light. The luminous glow of brilliant souls mined from the ruins infects this hidden habitation with radiance. A group of heavyset men and women in hobnail boots are just ahead. They are intent not on the deposits of souls, but on the hollows amidst the stones, where they are busy burying caches of munitions. A crunch of stone behind you, a beam of lantern light. The burly MacDonald brothers have followed you in. Okay, I can either warn them, because if they're discovered, they'll be booted off Port Avon, or... I'm not sure who the McDonald brothers are, but it sounds like they're against the Tackities, not part of them, because if I assist the McDonald's, that means Tackities engaged in unauthorized mining of ours, no good can come of it. Yeah, so that's definitely not to help them, so let's warn them. You rush into the breach, startling the illegal miners. A chorus of surprise and alarm greets your sudden entrance, but there's no time for questions. You convince the leader, a hard-bidden ex-prospector, to lead her men out through an alternate escape route blasted into the ruins. You cut an expensive deal and stay behind to tell the McDonald's you were on a nighttime stroll when you stumbled on a cave-in. They're more than happy to believe in the stupidity of outsiders. The Tekkities will be back for their weapons in the future, but next time, they'll be more careful about it. Yeah, so we're helping in the war. Winchester War, digging at Port Avon, you help the Tackities cover up their illegality. Gained fortune with the Tackities. Gained reputation, now up to 80, esteemed. Nice. Stovepipes hate me, of course. An incident with a repentant devil. Your newly acquired repentant devil is standing most unrepentantly over a body in the hallway. Uh... Inspect the deceased. You don't recognize him. You haven't seen this person before. One of your crew? But the deceased is no one you know. A stranger on your locomotive. 
peculiar luggage you brought on board, says one of the crew, when some others have gathered. Wouldn't have thought it would fit in your little bag. First, clean up. It won't do to leave the body in the hall. Then your repentant devil can explain himself. He's still got the blood on his cuffs. He's killed someone on board your locomotive. You need to understand why. Yeah, who... Why'd you kill them, but also, who the hell were they? Why were they on board? Ask him about the recently departed. He was a stowaway, explains the devil indifferently. He's been stalking me for more than a month. I thought I'd lost him when I came aboard. Then he turned up in my quarters. From the body, he has lifted a clinking bag of souls. Perhaps he was sent to bribe me rather than to kill me. He tilts his head to consider the soul collection. Apparently, he thinks I'm a cheap hire, if so. The devil's gaze reverts to you. I regret to say this is probably not the last time this happens. I may be destined to attract negative attention. Gained a thousand experience. Okay, well, their story checks out. Because they did seem like... Remember when we brought them on board, it seemed like they really, really wanted to be off Port Avon. So they are being stalked. Okay. Ooh, ask the repentant devil about his possible enemies. So for that we need two gourds of Corister Nectar, which I think I actually have in storage, and two caddies of dried tea. Wow, they <laughs> they need a lot of tea. <laughs> Unsettled dreams. You dream of falling. It's a common dream here. The fogs that bedevil the high wilderness are thick about you, and through them below you see something stir. A beast, a behemoth, almost a dragon, almost a whale, almost a continent. It gnaws on the roots of heaven, and all the fogs of the wilderness are its steaming breath. Its maw opens, wide as the gulf between stars. You wake. Seek company, make sense of the dream. Ooh, make sense of the dream. And that uses my mirror skill. Seems appropriate. Yeah, let's make sense of it. It gnaws at you. It recalls certain eerie tales you've heard in the sky. Perhaps they fit together, like the pieces in a perilous puzzle. Ah, failed. Try as you might, the pieces won't come together. They are dreams, after all. Wispy and changeable and improbably shaped. You spend a fruitless, sleepless night fretting at them and have to face the day's duty haggard and unsatisfied. Back at New Winchester now, I think I know what I want to do. I want to find more ports. There's a lot of this map still undiscovered, including some places that have been mentioned since the beginning of the game, like Port Prosper and Magdalens. And I don't know where the heck they are. And it's pretty important because I keep checking my prospects things like this like i have a quest to deliver souls to port prosper or i need to find some place that sells barrels of unseasoned hours but none of the current places i have on the map have that as an export so i need to find more places so i get more you know more places to deliver prospects and more places to get exports and also just because i need to explore and find more stuff i mean god this game is huge i've only explored like a half a third to half of this map Probably like a third. So, I'm going to try to find Port Prosper, which apparently, according to um, this, yes, this thing to deliver to Port Prosper, it says at the bottom, Prosper lies to the west-southwest of New Winchester. So, given that Carillon is straight west, south, west-southwest is probably like about here. So I think I'm going to go down this way. But before that, I want to buy some armor. I've got a decent amount of coin at this point. So let's get Bronzewood Shielding. Costs 500, goes into the armor slot, and gives me plus 10 armor, which I don't really know what that means exactly. Does that negate 10 points of damage? That would seem a bit excessive, because my rocket... My main rocket weapon... What's it called? The Jerusalem only does 10 damage. So it probably works some different way. But anyway... Let's get this, because I take damage real, real fast. 
I mean, Christ, a swarm of bees can kill me in like 20 seconds. That's how it works. It just acts as extra health. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's a, that's a very simple, intuitive way to do it. Because it mentioned in the description here, it's resilient and readily replaced at ports. What's more, it looks splendid. See it gleam. So it talks about replacing it. So I was thinking, okay, maybe it takes damage. So am I going to have a separate armor bar that I need to repair somehow? But yeah, they just added it onto the end of your hull, so it just means when you go to repair your ship, it costs a little bit more. Well, my health just went up by a lot. From 30 to 40? That's huge. Okay, I'm gonna buy some supplies and go exploring for Port Prosper. I'm just about to the unexplored area down here where Port Prosper should be. I also realized that I had forgotten a couple things and went back to New Winchester real quick. I got the, what is it, Souls? Yeah, the consignments of souls for Port Prosper. I realized I should probably have those on board if I'm looking for Port Prosper, so once I get there, I can just complete the uh, quest. And then I also realized I should repair my ship. Since I put the armor on, I had 10 more hull points that were unrepaired, so now I'm up to 40. Not going over there. Want to stay on course. New Winchester built watchtowers here in a fruitless attempt to deter marauders. Ah, oh, it's that glowing fauna again. Oh, you are an enemy? Yes. didn't take any damage. It's always very satisfying when I don't take any damage. Loot the hold. Jewelry box. Salon stood gossip. A sheaf of letters falls from a concealed compartment. The pages are rife with scandal. Look at how these little, these little like ornamental curly things that are above and below the rewards or whatever that you get for doing this. Look at how they kind of like gyrate when I move. Whoop. They're alive. Ah, we're up to 50% nightmare. Also, what is that? Why is it, how is it marked on my map? Obviously I haven't been anywhere near that. And there's also that too. That might have been marked on my map when I sent out a scout when I was in this area, but not this. I wonder if that was added to my map through some sort of quest thing, like, you know, hey, you should go to this spot, and it told me where it was, and put the marker there? If so, then, why would it be a question mark? Weird. Havenwood. Man, sometimes I just stare at the layers and layers and layers going beneath us. There's so many layers. That could potentially be Board Prosper. No, that's... Oh, that's a wonder. I've never seen a wonder before. I'm guessing that's the opposite equivalent of a horror. Something very rare and very dangerous, but instead something very rare and very good. Is this it? Is it this island of gears? You found and benefited from a wonder, one of the most pleasant and least menacing landmarks of the high wilderness. They immediately lower terror when you draw near them as long as you haven't visited too recently. Sometimes it's worth taking a detour to include them in your routes. 
Ah, uh, because I read that, I missed whatever that said. Yeah, it went down by 7%. And what a wonder it is. An island of gears. Whoa. Oh my god, is that a statue to the Ratronaut? That's the Ratronaut! Remember Mr. Mr. Menagerie? It's one of the scouts? Oh, I need that Ratronaut. It's legendary. Unknown rat. It's not unknown, it's a Ratronaut. I mean, not a Ratronaut, the Ratronaut. The one and only. That is really cool. Gorgeous. Okay. West, southwest. Could be anywhere in this area. Could be that. I'm very close to leveling. In fact, I feel... Yeah. I actually have had a level to spend for a while now. I'm gonna go with the black sheep. And this is kind of continuing with the theme of the last one I got, which is the August Avenues you felt at home in the soot and grime of London. Um, you spent your youth amidst the parlors and privilege of the wealthy. So we grew up as part of a wealthy family, but we ended up a revolutionary, which obviously the wealthy do not like. Ended up going to jail for the things we did as a revolutionary, and then dovetailing on that with the black sheep. You never fitted in. You were a piece from another puzzle. You came to revel in your family's disappointment. Their disapproval was a trophy. Their condemnation, a commendation. Why did they resent you? I'm going to go with for your failures. What a disappointment you were, and how often and lengthily they informed you of it. But the things that mattered, mattered to them were unimportant to you. You'd find your own path. Yeah, so I grew up in a very cushy life, but Elizabeth changed. That is not a port. That's something grave. The Edom Mutata Resurgio. The fatalistic cyclamen looks uncharacteristically grim. Will we fill the whole sky with our dead, do you think? Gleams with frost. Engine silent. 52% chance of success. Frost has locked them, but a pry bar makes an effective key. Force open the doors to the hold. Failure. Do we lose crew? Yes. Your crew attach cables to the wreck to hold it steady as they pry apart the doors. A sudden gust of wind rocks both vessels and the young man straining at the pry bar slips. He cries out, his hand mangled on a torn edge of metal. He's likely to lose his fingers. The treasure you retrieve from the hold will be little comfort to him. Ah, damn. Sorry. We got a jewelry box. We... <laughs> You, lost, you probably lost your fingers, but we got some gossip. We got some juicy gossip. Nothing. Also heard shooting nearby. Also, could that be Port Prosper? No, that is very 100%. Southwest. That's not West Southwest. Distant gunfire. Listen to that wind. 
well, you can't anymore, uh, a touch of the skies. Skyfarers exposed to the haunting light of the stars are prone to sudden obsessions and erratic behavior. One of your engineers has taken an oath of utter silence. Oh, I think we saw this one before. Gagged himself, wraps ar rags around his feet to muffle his footsteps. So what do we do with them? Confine them to quarters, send them back to work, or issue an additional ration of brandy to the crew. I don't have a huge amount of supplies, but I'm not in danger territory. Let's issue an additional ration of brandy. Terror reduced, down to 44. The evening, your engine, that evening, your engine is loud with song and laughter. The sky shanties are perhaps a little lubricated. The humor laced with a touch of mania. But for now, the fears of the sky are forgotten. A passing cantankery grumbles through the cold night. It tuts at the bright, glaring warmth of your windows. It flicks a disapproving antenna at the noise and the hour. When you've passed it by, it is glad to have the quiet and cold of the sky back. Grumpy old man cantankery. <laughs> Let's go towards the sound of gunfire, shall we? Dreadnought. Okay, last time we saw them shooting at Tackadies, but now we're much more liked by the Tackadies, to the point where it's possible the Dreadnought will shoot at us, maybe? Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, you're Tackadie, hey. Oh, shit. Ah. Ow. Yeah, are you gonna shoot me? Doesn't seem like it. HML Grunwald. I mean, I should defend Tackadies, right? They're my people. Also, at the same time, there's two of the gunships, and they're huge and seem to have really powerful weapons. Who owns them? HML Grunwald. HML? That's not the Windward Company, is it? Yeah, I'm really not sure what faction these people are a part of. Maybe it is the Windward Company, but either way, I mean, again, the Tackadies are my people. I need to defend them. I can probably do it while they're distracted. Hopefully the Tackety Scout doesn't die soon. Let's go. Oh god, is that just... Oh, that's just a Marauder. Oh, is the Mar... Oh, I think the Marauder's going after the, uh... Them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, they're a little bit distracted. Yes, they're distracted. Okay, it's on fire. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Wow, this is a hell of a fight, huh? I'm very low on health as well. Okay, at least I can loot him. Uh, can I... I can't gain hole by looting them. I can't, like, scavenge. Okay. The... The massive guns of the Dreadnought have finally fallen silent. The Hulk hangs in the firmament like a shed spider skin in a web, viewed from the vantage of the fly. Its sides are scored and open, its windows shattered, smoke billows from its blind eyes. London will not see what transpires here. Try to gain unusual cargo, gain supplies, read the engine's lockbox. The engine's lockbox sits on the captain's desk, heavy as a miser's heart. What could be in there? These say what they give you. This doesn't. Let's do it. Inside, after some deft work with the bolt cutters, are a series of documents. Crisp, white, ministry-stamped documents. Some are promissory notes, exchangeables, uh, exchangeable in all reputable ports in the sky. Another is an invitation to the eternal mosque on perdurance where london's finest dwell within a single day charred stove pipe nameplates remain unchanged at zero 150 sovereigns and an invitation okay so they are part of the stovepipes that makes sense 
Well, damn, they have some powerful ships. These are way more powerful than the Tackety Scouts. Like, these are... These are ships of war. The Scouts are just... Scouts. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing great. But the Scout's still alive. Okay. Okay. Making progress. Can we... Ah, we can't... I want to try to use their hole to repair my hole, but I still can't. Unusual items or sovereigns. Unusual items. Success. Um... Is this new? A few scorched documents sit on the Bronzewood desk. They make for interesting reading. Apparently London had need of a few brave captains willing to bring fire to the Tackities. You would not have expected the signatories of the orders. Oh, I think I have read that before. Ah, wait, I just really actually understood what this meant. I don't think I really understood it before. London had need of a few brave captains willing to bring fire to the Tacities. You would not have expected the signatories of the orders. So it sounds like London, or the Windward Company, is paying marauders to shoot at Tacities? Actually, maybe that's not what it means, because the Marauder was just... The Marauder was just fighting with a Windward Company vessel. If they were paid to shoot Tacketys, you'd think they wouldn't shoot the Windward Company. Okay, I don't know then. Wow, am I low on health. Holy shit. I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. I have one hit point. <laughs> okay, I think they're in... Leave me alone. I think so. What have you found? Didn't I just go through there? Well, not the question mark, apparently. Something new? I was trying to see if the port's nearby. Hmm... Do I want to continue on one health? No. That was a good fight. That was exhilarating. Yeah, what is this question mark? Something grave. Oh. Hour of the Wolf. Doubts prey on you. Is this the path you should have taken? Okay. We got this again. Let's endure. Failure again. Five terror and a tale of terror. The yoked blood. Ah, these I can strip for repairs. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So now I've got 13 hole. That's not good, but I think that's enough for me to continue. Oh, damn it. 